Welcome back. From this equation, I can simply state, count over, take this to the other side, that really the I3 is equal to I1 plus I2. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put I3 into that equation and I'm also going to put it into that equation over there. Um, I'll also take basically this minus 10 to the other side as well. So let's work on this one first, okay? Um, and in fact, what I'll do is I'll take these two terms over to the other side. So I can say, what have I got here? I've got a 20 um, is equal to, and that is what? I1 times 1k. This has gone to the other side, so that's a plus. It will be an I3, won't it? But I3 is equal to what? I1 plus I2. So let's put a little bracket there. That's I1 plus I2, and that is times what? The 3K. All right. Let's now work on this guy here. I've taken the 10 to the other side, let us say. So that's 10 is going to be equal to... All right, what is it equal to? Well, look, I've got uh, basically um, the minus, let's write that down, that's a minus I2 times 2K, yep. Um, I'm getting rid of this I3 over here, so I'll maintain that minus sitting there. I'll open up a bracket, and I3 is what? I1 plus I2. So there it is, I1 plus I2. Uh, close the bracket there, and that's multiplied by the 3K. All right, let's just expand that bracket a little bit then, okay? So what have I got? I've got a 10 is equal to, um, <clears throat> let's look at this, that's a minus I2 times 2K. And then I've got a, a minus I1 times 3K, and I've got a minus I2, have I not, times 3K. Let's collect all our terms together here. So I've got really a 10 is equal to, put I1 in first, so it's really a minus I1, isn't it, times 3K. And then how many I2s do I have? I have a minus, I've got two, and I've got a three over there, so I've got a minus what? I2 times uh, 5K, haven't I? Yes, all right? All right, so we'll just... Um, note that equation that we now have in terms of I1 and I2. Let's do the same thing over here. So what have I got here? I've got 20 is equal to an I1 times 1K. Let's expand the bracket out here. So that's a plus. I've got what? Uh, if I look at that, I've got a I1 times 3K. And then I've got a plus. I've got an I2 times the 3K. All right, collecting my terms, I now have a 20 is equal to, how many I1s do I have? I have four of them, don't I? 4K of them. So I1 times 4K, and then I've got a plus I2 times, what, 3K sitting over here. Okay, and so that's my next equation, as it were, in terms of I1 and I2. So really... I'm going to look at these two equations here and see if I can figure out what I1 and I2 are. Okay, so how do I do this? Well, let's think about this a little bit. Um, we've, it's a simultaneous equation problem, really, and there are various ways we can do that. This is a very simple problem. Supposing I take this equation here and I were to multiply it by 3, and I take this equation over here, and let's say I were to multiply that by 4. What would I get? If I multiply this guy by 3, I'm going to get 60 is equal to I1 times what? 3, 4 is a 12K. Uh, plus I2 times what? 3, 3 is a what? 9K. All right? That's that equation. What about this guy over here? Multiplying by 4, that's a 40, isn't it? It's equal to a minus. 3, 4 is a 12, so that's an I1 times 12K. Yep. And then what's that? A minus I2, and that's 4, 5s are, what, 20K sitting over here. All right. 
<clears throat> supposing I take this equation, I'm just going to rewrite it over here. So I've got really a 40 is equal to a minus I1, 12K, uh, minus I2, 20K. And supposing I simply say, all right, just add these together. So 40, uh, 40 plus 60 is 100, and that is equal to, well, that's a plus 12K plus a minus 12K. That's gone, has it not? Okay, then I've got, what, 9K I2s, and I've got a minus um, 20K I2s. So what do I actually have there? I have a minus, don't I, I2 times 11K. And so therefore, I could say, could I not, that really I2 is simply going to be equal to a minus 100 divided by 11K. All right, I'm going to let you do that. But basically speaking, I've found I2. Okay, I can then take that value of I2. I can put it into either this equation this or this equation over here uh, to simply solve for I1. And once I know I1, I know I2, I can now get I3. And then I can find everything else I need to in that particular circuit. All right, so in essence, that's a simple example of using basically Kirchhoff's voltage law, current law, and of course, Ohm's law. All right, I'll see you next time.